archived content May 29, 2017 Jerome Sinclair made history in 2012 when he replaced Sam Diesel with nine minutes to play in Liverpool's 21 victory over West Bromwich Albion in the League Cup third round. Becoming the Reds' youngest Eva player, the former Baggies Academy striker announced himself to an ever-expectant audience awaiting the next Robbie Fowler, Steven Gerrard or Jamie Carragher. Sinclair was born just four months before Carragher made his debut for Liverpool, and with few of the club's academy talents establishing themselves since the number 23 burst onto the scene, hopes were rekindled. The then 16-year-old returned to the dressing room at the Hawthorns to a round of applause from his teammates, the likes of Carragher, Jordan Henderson and Jack Robinson, the Reds' previous youngest player, but Brendan Rodgers was eager to practice patience. Now Jerome's hard work begins. It's no good being the youngest player and then drifting out of it, he said. But thank you, H.E. is a good kid. I've worked with him a number of times so far and H.E. is really focused with good concentration. He wants to learn and once you have that hunger, you can take it a long way. Now, nearing five years on from that debut, Sinclair is stagnating despite having left the Reds for Watford on a Bosman transfer last summer, and joining championship side Birmingham City on loan at the end of January, he has still made just 18 senior appearances throughout his career so far. By comparison, Jordan Ibe and Raheem Sterling, while one and two years his senior respectively, have amassed 352 between them and though they are exceptional cases, the prestige that came with Sinclair's record-holding status suggested a similar level of success. That HSNT being the case, and now facing a turbulent summer as the Hornets undergo their yearly overhaul, Sinclair finds himself in a difficult position. Walter Mazaris' departure from the Vicarage Road dugout could go one of two ways for Sinclair his replacement could look more favourably on his talents, or could shunt him further down the pecking order in Hertfordshire. Watford's setup is one of bewildering impermanence bringing 36 players in and letting 52 go over their two seasons back in the English top flight so far, with only seven players, Odi and Ayalo, Valon Berami, Sebastian Prudel, Miguel Bridos, Etienne Capoe, Hurilo Gomez and Troy Deeney, making 20 or more appearances for the club in both 201,516 and 201,617 and even Ayalo left the Hornets in January, joining Chinese Super League club Chang Chun Yatai for £20 million. Over those two seasons, only three players aged 21 or under have featured more than five times Sinclair 7, Isaac Success 19 and Nathan Arke 28. It is hardly the ideal environment for youth development, and with Mazari admitting earlier in the season that Sinclair is a player that needs to mature more physically, it was clear the 20-year-old faced an uphill battle at Watford. Leaving to join Birmingham City on loan at the end of the January window, Sinclair fared little better at St Andrews, making five appearances for the club, with his final outing, a one-minute cameo in a 31 loss at home to Leeds United, coming on March 3, as managerial change at the West Midlands club hampered his progress once again. This was, of course, an avoidable situation for Sinclair, who had made progress at Liverpool following the appointment of Jurgen Klopp towards the end of 2015. He was called upon on two occasions during the Reds' ill-fated FA Cup run, and scored on his maiden outing under Klopp, in a 22 draw with Exeter City in the third round, a game that saw another promising youngster, Brad Smith, also score his first goal for the club. Sinclair had been in contract talks with Liverpool since before Klopp's arrival, and though there was little sign of a breakthrough, the backing of a new manager suggested a possible future for the striker on Merseyside. Less than two weeks after his goal at St James Park, however, Sinclair was the subject of scrutiny from Klopp in a press conference at Melwood, when the German questioned the wage demands of young players. What we try to do is create a situation where younger players know it is not important to get the highest wages in your life in the first year of your career, he told reporters. It is more important to get the real education and that is what we want to try. With Liverpool imposing a £40,000 a year salary cap for first-year scholars in October of last year, it is clear the club have bought into Klopp's view. Given the nature of Sinclair's malaise, it was notable that he shared a representative with Raheem Sterling, who was roundly criticised for his efforts to force through a big money move to Manchester City in 2015. Now, Sinclair is likely earning a first-team wage at Watford, particularly given they paid £4 million to secure his services after a tribunal, but did he move for the right reasons? Another host of young players are set to leave Liverpool this summer, with promising 19-year-old midfielder Adam Phillips already announcing his departure after 10 years with the club.
as with Phillips, whose contract was simply not extended due to a series of injury problems. The motives of those leaving will be varied, both club prompted and in the interest of personal or professional development. But Sinclair's stagnation at Watford should be a warning sign to choose clubs wisely and realistically, or face an unpredictable, shifting career path, lacking the stability required at such a young age. Unfortunately, the same could be said of Smith, who left to join Bournemouth in a £6 million deal in the same summer, but has gone on to make just eight appearances for a Eddie Howe's side. There are more positive examples for the Reds' young cast-offs, including Suso's rejuvenation at AC Milan and Thiago Alora's successful six months with Reading, but Sinclair currently stands as a damning indictment of a too-much, too-young mentality, and Klopp is eager for his charges to avoid. Share this 27,816 Arsenal must face the Jack Wilshire conundrum this summer.